All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Uh, so we've got another modded class to play as today. It's called the Valiant, a zealous nun wielding both holy power and untold fury. At the start of every combat, choose a card out of three and add it to your hand. It has exhaust. Interesting. Let's give her a go. Oh good, you can't see it again. There we are. Uh, I hope you guys got to see at least the intro. Well, let's go up the hefty mystery machine. Yeah, let's let's roll that. Let's see how much money I get. Alright, so I can do Tear Psych, 35 damage, lose 10% HP. Each time you lost HP this turn, deal 7 damage to all enemies. Or cost 1 less for each uh, 10 points. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll grab Tantrum. Okay, so we have Defend, Blinding Light, 1 weak to all enemies. Alright. Minor healing. Neat. I guess let's just pop their shields off and then defend. This will be an interesting character. So, the Valiant probably is a... Uh, the Valiant is, is probably designed mostly for a... Uh, kind of self-harm and healing. Which actually should be kind of cool. Okay, Might Form. Whenever you play a card that costs 3 or more, gain 10 block. Ooh, that's interesting. Deal 6 damage and apply 2 Wavering. Wavering. At the start of each turn, this monster is dealt 3 turns. I'm gonna grab Dehabilitation. That sounds cool. Uh, gain some gold. Still not, not enough to justify the shop. I... That was a lot of damage for the toolbox. And here's our shop. Whenever you lose HP from a card, exhaust a card from your hand and gain 3, e 3 HP. 10 block, exhaust the top card of your deck. Apply 6 wavering. Towering charge. Ooh, we got some other things. Archangel's Feather. First turn of every combat, whenever you play a card, heal 2. Wow, that's pretty good. 4 damage. If playing this card, you have two or more energy, apply three wavering. Well, we could get towering charge. I mean, it feels like this is the uh, the wavering deck, so let's let's get some wavery on. Curious about upgrades too. Okay, dual spirit, copy of a skill or power card in your hand. At the end of each turn, upgrade an attack card in your hand. If you can't lose three. Or retaliate. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. So we want to start with towering, towering charge. Oh, that was vulnerable. Whoopsie. Let's do transmutation, I guess. Blind and trip. I guess we might as well weaken him down. This is going to be weird. I'm probably going to run into some trouble here. Okay. Oh, Wavering. At the start of the next eight turns, three damage. Okay, so that doesn't scale up that much. So Wavering is not as cool as I thought it was going to be. I'll take a little bit of damage here. I wish they had at least recolored the, uh, the Wavering. Visuals would have made life easier. Okay, so stop going for wavering. It's not as good. So sharpen Deal 10 damage if the enemy is wavering deal 50% more lose 3 HP or whenever you heal if you're above 60% HP draw a card Oh I've got this going that's probably gonna confuse somebody I didn't even realize uh, I might uh, Wait, can I just turn that off? Is that an option I can turn off? No, it doesn't I'd, I'd have to turn it off and, uh, eh, that sucks. Okay. Well, I like Sharpen to some degree, but I'm going to go Furious Smite, seeing as it goes with my, my Wavering build. Okay, so next up, what do we got? Dehabilitation, Minor Healing, Unyielding Zeal, Furious Smite, Blinding Light. I mean, I feel like I should do uh, Dehabilitation. 
extra justify its existence. Ooh, Apotheosis. Okay, deal six damage to the enemy is wavering. Deal 50% more. Gain energy. Draw a card. Choose and add a card from your draw pile to your hand. Add a random curse to your deck permanently. Ugh. Bombastic. I mean, that could be amazing if I had... Uh... <laughs> oh, this would be really fun if I had uh, the Darkstone Pirept and Duvu Doll. Bombastic. Choose a card from your hand that costs two or more. Cause zero this combat. You can't draw cards this turn. Let's go Zealous Smite just because. Okay, so we're going to start with Apotheosis for obvious reasons. Let that cycle. Okay. That, uh, let's see. Unyielding Zeal. Furious Smite for some extra damage. And Dehabilitation just because. Strike, strike, he's on the cusp of death. Yeah, the main problem is Wavering isn't really meant to do a whole lot of damage here. Well, let's do minor healing and just kill him. Combat sense, when an enemy, whenever an enemy deals damage to you next turn, apply two Wavering and weak. Uh, divine favor, six block, heal five, or heal 12. Start your next turn with one less energy. Metabolize or divine favor. I'm going to go Meabolize, actually. It's, it's not Metabolize. It's Meabolize. Right, Flash of Steel. Choose a card in your hand. Costs one less this turn. Or X plus three. Holy Storm. Well, let's apply weakness to him. I'm going to hold on to Holy Storm just because... It's, um, I know I could actually have used it. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. It would have done zero times anyway. Never mind. Let's see. Unyielding Zeal is a, uh, is a skill, not an attack. Interesting. Okay. Meabolize. Meabolize. Uh, it's still a skill. I'd like to use it for the healing. I just don't know if it's worth it. Ah, screw it. Okay, so what do we have? Blinding light? No. Okay, so I can't do ch tower charge. I guess I might as well do... Well, I could do towering charge and... No, let's do dehabilitation. This is going to hurt. To weaken him down. Doesn't change much. Might have actually screwed me here. Uh, well, now's a good time for this, and I guess I'll block... Okay, so we'll take 13 from this. Holy Storm! Six damage. Mango! Helpful. Flash of Anger, three block, vulnerable. Over half your HP, lose six HP, draw two cards. If you have less, discard two HP or two. Huh. Let's get Guardian. That's kind of interesting, useful. Oddly Smooth Stone, that's helpful. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What do we have? We've got a very nice Mystery Machine. And another bonfire. Or just full mystery machine. I don't know. I'm going to rest just because. I'm pretty wounded. Okay, upgrade a card. Heal 16. Meebleize? Yeah, let's get that. The more healing I can grab, the better. Push onward. Whenever you lose HP, exhaust a card from your hand, heal more. Deal six damage, upgrade up to one card in your hand. Empowering force is kind of neat. So it's uh, armaments, but slightly different. I'm going to just leave, though. I'm going to save. I want to get some relics here. Okay, Radiance. Random power card to your hand. Let's go Tear Soul. Unyielding Zeal. Swift Strike. Furious Strike, Tear Soul. Got him. I don't think I'm going to use Tear Soul that much.
at all. Okay, and we get Cursed Doubt, but we get this. Cool. Uh, do I heal again? Who are we up against? We're up against him. I should probably smith up a card. So, 14 times a block. Lose less HP. 9 Wavering. More healing. Longer weak. Let's get Unyielding Zeal up. I only use it once. Okay. Deal 9 damage, gain health, lose HP. Double an enemy's wavering. Uh, let's do combat dance. He isn't wavering, though. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Did damage. In retrospect, I might have mucked up here. Oh well. Oh, that's interesting. So it, it does. It only factors the defense at the very end. There. Good to know. Let's do Towering Charge. Get that up like crazy. Alright, so now he's wavering forever. Unfortunately, we have yet to get anything that really. really has an effect on that. Oh, that's okay. I should have doubted him before. Uh, whatever. Yeah, the main problem is wavering... I almost feel like wavering needs like an additional effect on top of what it already does. It just doesn't feel quite good enough uh, as it is. But I guess really it's supposed to be a... It's really supposed to be kind of like a... You use it... You use it as kind of like a, a boolean. It's like, does it have wavering? Yes. Okay, now it takes extra damage. I'm just very scared that I'm going to do, like, no damage here. Speaking of no damage, uh, I might die here. It's very possible. Uh, unfortunately, if I do die here, uh, this will actually have to be it. I'm quite sick, and I don't have enough uh, energy in me, I think, for another run, especially if it goes further. Which sucks. Alright, let's just do... Debilitation. Yeah, I'm, uh... I don't think I'm gonna win this one, but we get the, uh, benefit for the next run. Uh, those extra curses are, are not helping. Yeah, there I go. Uh, you know what? Here. I, I said I had that one stupid run after this. I know it's not ideal, but I'm just gonna throw it up, because... Yeah, uh, the Casa del Wanderbot is... Is just... <laughs> Yeah, you can hear Shell coughing in the background, and I might sound a little hoarse. Um, I just, I don't feel up for doing another run. I am sorry, so I guess bonus episode. Water's sick, I don't get a choice. Uh, uh, but it's either this or nothing. And honestly, I know, I know you guys don't like the misplays, but I would still rather give you misplays than no plays. If that makes sense. I apologize, and hopefully I'll feel better within the next day or two. Um, but I guess for then, or for now, I'll see you guys next time. Well, I guess I'll see you on the bonus round, which is going to follow immediately, immediately after this. Maybe I'll do some cheat runs. Uh, well, I'm too sick to, like, really play well. Uh, you know, draft mode. That would be kind of fun. I might do that. Okay, so, let's, uh, let's give Jug, Jug a run one more. Okay, so remove a card from your deck. Boss Relic. I never want to get rid of Heavy Body, though. That's a terrible idea. Let's get rid of Strike. Okay. So, this time around... I feel like I should probably head up this way. And decide where I want to go from there, mid-boss or otherwise. And we've got another bonfire there. Otherwise, I could go this way, but that doesn't... Eh, it doesn't feel so good. Let's go this way. Wow, I'm stupid. Sorry. I thought that I I'm so used to playing uh well, not playing. I'm so used to other cards. Brain was just like uh to choose which one you want to do and it, it doesn't. Uh, okay, let's do defend, defend, defend. I'll just tank the hits. 
or avoid taking the hints. <laughs> hints? Hits. Okay. Get the strength bonus. On guard again. A little bit more plated armor. Whale on this guy. Okay, that feels a bit better. So Mangle is really good. Pulverize. Draw reduction sounds terrifying. I don't know if I can use that on this round. Alternatively accelerate, which is equally good. I feel like I should go Mangle, though. We'll get Accelerate on future runs. Okay, so they're going to hit me for 12. Let's do Defend, Mangle, Defend. I'll take two damage. But this way he'll die. Slow. Very slow. Do Overpower. Maybe we kill him a little bit faster. No, maybe we kill that guy a little faster. And kill that guy a little bit faster. Okay, that works. Galvanized. Three plated armor, two draw reduction. Scary. Damage... Equal to three times your plated armor to all enemies. Remove all of your plated armor. I don't know if any of these are that helpful for what I'm doing. Galvanize is scary. The three-plated three armor is kind of nice. I think I'm going to skip this. None of them fit for the build that I want to go. Uh, do I, have a, I do have a shop over here if I want to take the extra money. It would mean skipping a mid-boss. But you know what? That's not actually a bad idea looking at that. Yeah, let's, let's take it. I'll skip the mid-boss. Honestly, they're kind of particularly deadly on this floor anyway. Let's lose doubt immediately. Okay, that worked. All right, let's try it. Find some potions. Block potion and swift potion. All right, we're up against these dicks. Huh, scary. Okay. Let's get some damage. I want to mangle this one. Unfortunately, he had the artifact power rolling. I'll just take the hit. I'll save the uh, block potion for the next round. I want to just try and kill some of these guys a little bit faster. Okay, um... It's a little bit of block, a little bit more block. Strike him. And defend. Yeah, I'll save the block potion for another future round where I... I know I can't block it. Okay. Um, hi? Sure. That's a bit more helpful. Kill this guy. Defend. Can't defend again. There were all of the dazes. I guess it's because we have such a small deck. All the dazes are going to just stack up like nobody's business. And unfortunately, Mangle is not particularly helpful against these guys because they've got artifact. We'll see. Mangle him. It's not enough, but I know. Artifact works with heavy bodies flex. Wait. So does that mean you get to keep the strength? If you have artifact? Is... Is that what you're implying? Because, like, hot damn. That is goofy. It was really good. Okay. I'm just going to take the defense. Let's just roll on him slowly. Let's see. You keep it. That's what people have been saying. Look, I'm really tired. I'm not reading chat very often. I'm mostly trying to focus on the game. But that is really good. I'll have to pay attention. Part of it is like, uh, I've just never even conceived of the idea that... Uh, 
Huh. Works the same with, way with Ironclad. I guess I just never ran into that. 15 damage costs one more for each card in your hand, except for this card. If your dexterity is less than zero, deal damage to the def uh, to the difference. No, none of these are partic particularly helpful for the build, not build, that I'm going for. Okay, and we got the courier, which is helpful. Do I go for another mid-boss? Do I risk it? How many biscuits am I risking here? Or do I play it safe, go to the right, get two mysteries? Risking it. Hello, Gremlin Knob. You suck. All right, let's let's get some strength. Okay. So he's only going to hit me for six. This will be fine. This will be less fine. This will be okay. I've got a block potion for this, and I'm not going to do on guard because that'll make him real scary. All right. Uh, overpower again. I really like the uh, heavy body. Okay. There's something about heavy body letting heavy body on a curse or a status lets you exhaust any card. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that. So yeah, I'll have to figure out about getting more artifact here. 15 damage, gain confusion. Oh, interesting. Skull Bash is cool. Let's grab Skull Bash, see what happens. Bird face turn, okay. Uh, let's upgrade Mangle. Okay, so we want to do Mangle first, just in case. Skull Bash this guy to death. And is confusion just permanent? It is. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I need to get some expensive cards. Heavy armor. Five block. Additional block equal to your strength times one. Versus grapple. Apply one vulnerable. Gain one block. Whenever you play a card... Or a card this turn. Targeted enemy loses 3 HP. It's like choke, but different. Oh, draw reduction is only one less card for X turns, by the way. Oh! That's cool. I think Wander's trying to lose at this point. No, I'm trying to learn. So heavy armor would be interesting, but I don't have any strength gen right now. I do have dex gen, though, which is interesting. But I don't have the strength for it. I feel like heavy armor might be a little bit more useful. But I don't even have strength. You know, I'm just going to keep skipping. Because stuff like grapple... Could be... Yeah, I'm just going to skip. My deck isn't very heavy. We'll do Mangle and Defend. And I'm trying to avoid making it too fat. Skull Bash might actually be the worst idea. But, oh well. Okay. Let's just do Defend. On Guard. Skull Bash. Overpower. Probably should have actually gone for the defense, maybe. I always have strength with heavy body. Yeah. Not much, though. Man, I am borderline non functional right now. I just looked at that and I'm like, why did I strength up? Part of it is, since none of these have original card art. Uh, it makes it a little bit harder for me to identify them because I identify everything visually. Uh, and it is a problem. Flying press could be interesting. 
Fury, maybe? I don't know. Because I don't have enough of a... None of these cards are particularly useful right now. And while I'd like to use them, until I get something better, I'm, like, afraid to get them. Because Flying Press would work really well with a, a Dexterity Accelerate build, but we haven't seen Accelerate go by. Fur Fury is just kind of strong, and Bulwark's kind of helpful. If Yeah, part of it is, like, Kunai is completely... Kunai and Shuriken are kind of useless here. Uh, which, uh, I don't know. Um, hmm. Just gonna keep skipping. I'm not satisfied. Okay, I'm a bit more satisfied. What is this? Rigid Armor. At the end of your turn, if you play two or less cards, gain two plated armor. Deal eight damage. You may discard up to one card to deal the damage an additional one time. Sure. Yeah, I have the courier. Save my money a little bit. Okay, I'm pretty wounded. Now that I'm thinking about it. I should probably start healing. Hi? Okay, so now that I'm thinking about it, heavy armor is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Cannibalize would actually work well with this, but I think I'm just going to go with the heavy armor. Obviously, I'd spent the money probably at a bad time, but whatever. Okay. So I'm going to do... Nah, let's do some damage. Mangle. And defend. I was tempted to do Skull Bash. But I want to... Slimed. Exhaust. That did you mod did you mod the slime boss? That's interesting. Yeah, rigid armor is gonna be really helpful. Make a huge difference on this one. Ah, uh, crap. Do Apotheosis. Oh, which is a skill. Crap, I thought it was a power. Well, whatever. That's worth it. Um, this is gonna hurt. I guess I should probably drink this. Oh, thank you for the resub, Omega Zero. Let's see. Um, should probably just upgrade Mangle. More damage. Unfortunately, it will not split there. Let's see, I should probably mention Paltor's. Oh, I think it's an update? So Slimed is new? Interesting. I also skipped it by accident, which is dumb, but whatever. Okay, he has his own art. D didn't realize the assets. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna suggest if, uh, if you need card art, uh, or not card art, uh, if you need an art, like a piece of artwork for, uh, for the character, I'm not against drawing like a, a a unique character so that things stand out a little bit. Let's do strike. Yeah, because things don't carry over. Okay. So oh, heavy armor. Equals strength times two. So that's that's enough block. Well on this guy, use on guard. Okay, I've got actually got a shit ton of plated armor. Thank you, rigid rigid armor for uh for keeping me up. Let's do Mangle for the extra damage. Uh, let's keep wailing on that guy and block a little bit. Oh, I guess I'm not. I'm gonna take a little bit more damage than I thought it was. But yeah, I I don't know if it's entirely ugh, slimed. Oh, I have to play slimed. I didn't even realize. Choose two cards to discard. Slimed is inter, inter problems.
Okay. I should probably go for the strength. We're kind of in trouble. Okay, he'll die in two. Kill him. And this way we get confusion, so I can start playing those slimes, maybe. We'll see. Let's keep playing slime and exhausting slime. I don't have much I can work with. But the plated armor is at least keeping me mildly alive. Okay. Uh, let's do strike. Get the get the strength. Strike. Heavy armor. On guard. So I want to keep my plated armor up. Kind of, sort of. I, we're doing fine here, shockingly. Uh, keep burning the slimes. I didn't realize that, uh... I'm not even going to play the on guard. It's not going to help me here. I didn't even realize uh, that slime was a newish feature. It's neat? Also kind of a problem. Okay. Oh, good. He's about to split. Admittedly, he has a lot of health for being split here. But at least plated armor is high. Uh, I'm just going to end turn. Yeah, hopefully we can get one more energy. I will probably get rid of uh, the confusion card. It's not as helpful as I would have liked it to be. It would help if I had a bunch of really, really expensive cards. I Alternatively, I could actually just stack expensive cards. That wouldn't necessarily be such a bad idea. We'll see. Okay, so he's gonna die. Let's just upgrade Mangle. Kill him. It's kind of a slow burn. But effective enough. Ah, just die. Just die, I don't care. Get out of here. Heavier body. Improve the effects of the heavy body relic. Deal damage? Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't want to play more than two cards anyway. You know, that's actually a good point. I will get, I'll get rid of it when I get the chance. Um, I like heavier body. Spiked armor is pretty good too, though. What do you guys think? Because I'm pretty much guaranteed to have 10 plated armor at all times. Honestly... I should probably not chase more plated armor, because right now it, it, I lose it too much. Okay, heavier body it is. I need to get bodier. Cool. And do we do calling bell? Let's do calling bell. So I got some curses, but we get meat on the bone, ice cream, and matryoshka. This is helpful enough. Ice, I'm not sure about ice cream. We'll see. Uh, let's see. I probably want to start heading for shops. That's a lot of mysteries into a shop here. Two shops. Sure. Yeah, choker is good. Choker is good, but not for me. Burn this. Heavier body. Probably should have mangled him, maybe. Choker would have been better with only two power. Um... So the reason why I didn't, and don't want to, is... Do I go for the confusion? Let's go for the confusion. Uh, let's see. Effect based on its type. Well, I don't have any powers. So let's burn the strike? Strike him, defend. I'd like to use the Apotheosis. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't go the other way. Well, that's a problem. Unfortunately, ow. Okay. And... I guess let's just do damage. Oh, I've got three energy here. I forgot about that. Okay. Destructive finish. Let's burn the on guard. I'm not going to use it. And mangle. Unfortunately, I'm just going to keep taking damage here. Yeah, I'll get rid of the... 
I'll get rid of the ability. Oh, right. I shouldn't even bothered with the defend. I don't have calipers this round. Why does he do so much damage? I wish I knew. Strike. Heavy armor. Uh, and a defend. Right. Okay, so we won't take too much from this. This will hurt. Let's see. Uh, heavy armor. Days. Why am I drawing more cards for exhausting? Or is that... That's not how... It... I'm actually kind of curious about where I'm getting that from. Unfortunately, it's completely useless right now. It's not the bird. It is... It is heavier body? I didn't realize. Okay, well, let's go... Let's go this. Heavier body. Wait, so... Huh. Okay. Well, I'm confused. Doesn't matter. Let's do destructive finish. Let's just toss the overpower. And mangle him. Perfected blow. Deal 5 damage. Activate the effect of heavy body. Sure. I like that. It's a little weird. Your attack is giving more strength. Exhausting draws a card. And skills and powers do other things. Huh. Oh, heavier body's exhaust draws a card. Huh. Okay. I... It doesn't say that on the description. It just says it improves it. Oh! I see. So, improving... I gotcha. I was brain. Um, You know what? Let's go for the apotheosis. I'll take the decay damage. I'd rather have a little bit of block here. Yeah, it's, it's the heavy body plus. Oh, there goes my plated armor. But everything's upgraded. Okay, so let's... They're going to be wailing on me again. Uh, let's do strike, though. So we want to do heavier body, heavy armor, and on guard. Wish I had a little bit more than this. Unfortunately, we don't get the plated armor, but I'll take it. I'll take whatever. Unfortunately, these guys burn through plated armor like nobody's business. Okay. Uh, let's do this. So we want to do... None of these guys have a strength bonus. Let's go for the one. Um, now let's get rid of Doubt. like to do other things, but I'd like to get rid of cards. Yeah, the Perfected Blow ability is kind of neat. I'd like to use it more. Uh, ow, this is going to hurt. Trying not to take damage. Unfortunately, the birds are murdering me, and I'm not very smart now. So let's do Perfected Blow. Do that. Get some more strength here. Gotta get swoller ish I guess I'll just do Plated Armor. It doesn't really help. It doesn't really hurt. Ugh. I gotta kill this guy. I'm just gonna throw that at him. He's, uh, not going so hot. Surprising nobody. I did say I was ridiculously tired. Okay, mangle. Mangle him. On guard and defend. I think part of it is, we've got some neat relics, but I didn't really decide on a build until it was maybe a little bit too late. Okay, so I don't know if he's going to die yet. Um, let's just burn the decay, get, ri get rid of that, because I'm just going to overpower him and strike him. Probably should have actually done that the other direction. Shoot. Uh, like I said, kind of tired. Do perfected body, let's... 
do that. Get some hefty defense, because otherwise I'm going to get wrecked. And we're good. Okay, let's get some strength here. Overpower him to death. Frenzy. So the draw reduction, I will have to try. I thought... I thought draw reduction was the more your draw, your uh, the higher your draw reduction, the less you draw. Um, but that's not how it works. I could start getting these cards now, but I think it's a little bit late. Though it clearly, clearly wants me to go that way. Oh, I'm dead. I'm very dead. Yeah, honestly, um, uh, with the nerfs that we're looking at here, the, uh, with the nerfs that you did to this character, I think actually the easiest thing that you could do to rebalance this, in my opinion, would be to just straight up, um, uh, the easiest thing that you could do would just be to straight up give the uh, Juggernaut 3 energy now. Yeah, currently playing a draw reduction build. Not a problem, really. Just one last card a turn. Yeah, see, I was I was internalizing it as if you had draw reduction five, you draw five less cards. Um, probably based on poison, uh, which was you know coloring my perception on things, uh, and that's why you know I'm kind of failing here a little bit because I've internalized wrong information, and it is uh, resulting in me playing badly, and it's not great. Uh, I think I'm going to have to come back to this in about two days. Uh, I'd love to do more, uh, especially because, you know, the maker of the mods hang out in chat. And, uh, you know, I'd love to be more helpful. But I, I think I've got to go pass out because I am not, I'm not functional enough to play this character. He's neat. Um, but he is, oof. But I, I do I do stand by my, my point I, I tried to just make. I think if he had three energy with his current setup, all of those nerfs would be fine. It's just the fact that he only gets two cards a turn, two energy, and having like the, the hard nerf. You'd be kind of strong early on because of the uh, the heavy body, but then once you get up into the later levels, it seems like it would be maybe a bit more balanced because of things. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I'll Maybe I'll experiment with it and just uh, hack myself in three energy or something like that. Uh, just to see. But for now, it really is bedtime. <laughs>